So Google has released their new Gemini AI, which is supposedly the best AI created so far, surpassing even ChatGPT. And you want to know how to use it? Well, this is the video. So stick along. Let us begin right away. First of all, come to Google and search for Bard by Google AI. And then on the first link, which we have here, bard.google.com, open that up. Now, it will require you to have a Google account since I already have one logged in. It simply opened up this page for me. If you don't already have, or if you haven't logged in, you will be presented with a page where it will ask you to log in first. So click on that button and log in or sign up with your Google account. And now that we are here, simply go ahead and enter a prompt. So what are we going to write here? I'm just gonna say that I need help. I am new to Flutter. For example, you are a coding student and you don't know how to do a certain thing in any of the programming languages. You come here and tell the AI and then it will generate some answers for you. For example, I said I need help. I am new to Flutter and I need you to create code for a container. And let's see the magic. And now you can see it has asked us some questions if you want a specific color or in background image or we need any other thing like buttons or text on the widgets if we need it to be a certain size or shape. And then it has given us a example of code for basic colored container and a container with a border. This is really amazing because ChatGPT would have given us only one of those options, but it has presented us with several examples so we can choose and go with whichever is best for our use case. And here on the left panel, we have option for a new chat and then we have some recent chats, which is not so different from ChatGPT. It also works in the same way, but the real magic happens here on this panel where you can clearly see the results and you can also edit your prompt and change it up to get more new answers. Why don't we go ahead and try that out? So I'm going to add up to it and let's say I need a blue color and that the container should have some text. And the moment I press enter, it will start creating a new answer for me based upon my prompt. And as you can clearly see, it has listened to our request and generated the code exactly like we described. And everything about this code is perfect. As a Flutter developer, I can affirm that for you. Now, why don't we go ahead and try generating something from an image? So I'm going to upload a simple art which I have generated from other AI and let's see if it has any luck finding that out. I'm just going to select this image which is similar to Tangled from Disney but it is not that at all since this is similar to that but generated from another AI. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to write what is in this image. Now this is a pretty simple question. It is not something that I'm telling you to generate for me but I'm looking for some information. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what it does. And we have gotten the answer that, sorry, I can't help with images of people yet. So unfortunately, it has not been programmed to identify images where there are people. So let's go ahead and try something else. So I'm just going to go on Google and search for some images of code. For example, we can just save any of these images. And we have this image here. I'm just going to save that up in my computer. Actually, I'll just take a screenshot because this is from ChatGPT and we don't want all of that but only the code part of that so take a screenshot of that and save it anywhere you would like i'll just keep it in the downloads folder and go back to bard and upload an image now we can select this image here and now if we pose the same question do you think it will respond and give us what we need and this time since the picture did not contain any picture but simple code it has told us and described exactly what it is saying that the image you sent is a screenshot of Python code that generates a basketball. The code defines a function called generate basketball. Well, it has clearly described everything and it has also given us the explanation of the code even though we did not ask of that. How amazing is this? So that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you're not subscribed, do it now and leave a like to our video. Thanks for watching.